Well, goddamn. What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy. And we are back once again playing some more of Marvel Future Fight. And for today, we're actually going to be having a little bit of fun using my two new level 70 characters emma frost and gambit we're actually going to be putting them in gbr to see how well they perform because i've been looking forward to trying out gambit specifically in gbr because gambit doesn't really have any kind of survivability and in gbr you really really need some kind of survivability right because the boss generally doesn't die within a minute or so and after a minute of playing with gambit you're really on borrow time if you don't have the skill to like evade the boss's attacks right so i'm looking forward to seeing how gambit performs there i've never used him at level 60 i generally just don't use level 60 characters in gbr no matter who they are not even my gene gray amazing survivability but i find that level 60 characters should just never be used in gbr unless you're being carried by a cable or someone else okay so yeah, before we jump into that though, I wanted to give you guys an update to those of you guys who watched yesterday's video. I know it was a long video. I'll try to keep this one shorter today. I promise we'll try to get back to the shorter videos. So to those of you guys who made it through yesterday's video where I was talking to you guys about how much money I've spent on Future Fight, how long I've been playing Future Fight, I told you guys in that video that there's a few things that even after playing for so long that I'm still trying to get, right? There's a couple of things I've been trying religiously, literally every single day to get. And I finally got one of them yesterday. Like after I recorded that video, RNG, well, kind of blessed me, but kind of cursed me, right? So this is what happened, right? You may notice in the top, we literally have one crystal one <laughs> one crystal boys one crystal so here's the story behind that okay so yesterday i was talking to you guys about comic cards comic cards boys and i told you guys that i like to complete the sets and i had a couple sets that are pretty close to being completed there's actually two that's missing one card piece this one right here we didn't speak on it yesterday but this card is one of the best free to play comic cards in the game if you ever get it don't throw it away leave me if you don't spend any money on this game and you get this card honestly if you get the right rolls it's one of the best cards in the game physical attack we got cooldown and if you look down here you can get attack speed in the third slot the fourth slot you can get energy attack max hp or crit rate you don't want the proc and right here in the fifth one you can get ignored defense or all defense or critical damage and in the sixth one you definitely want to get all attack so it's a very good card if rng blesses you with the right stats arguably sometimes these cards are easier to roll than some of the premium cards i'm just saying if you're lucky if you're that lucky right so i'm looking for that card mainly because i want to complete the set for the set bonus obviously but it's also a really really good card i've been trying to get it every single day the same goes for this thor card one as you all know i'm a big fan of thor i'm a big fan of scarlet witch and i really like low gauge and they're all in this set so i'm like this set had to be completed but it also gives three percent additional skill cooldown and this is actually very, very important because if you take a look at some of my characters, some of my most powerful characters, you'll notice their skill cooldown as of late is not maxed out because your boy messed with RNG and messed up his cards. Like I have quite a few characters that don't have max skill cooldown, right? So that extra 3% would either get me to the cap or get me very, very, very close to it. So I've been literally on a mission, boys, to try and find that Thor card in the shop. Ever since the mission shop was updated and you could buy comic cards here, I've been trying to find that bloody Thor card. And RNG finally blessed me with it 
yesterday. I'm so freaking happy. It cost me 675 crystals. I was really hoping I would find it at four stars because unfortunately, it's not one of the other cards that you can see for gold because they come at three stars. This store card, Netmarble knows it's a very, very, very good card. So it only comes at four, five, or six. So you're only ever going to see it for crystals. I was really hoping it would drop at four stars so that way I could pay less. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, 675 crystals. That's basically a uniform I'm sacrificing. And I'm like, am I really going to miss this opportunity to get this card and then end up having to wait another maybe six or seven months before I see it again? So I was like, hell no. So we sacrificed the uniform, basically, and we picked up that Thor card. And I wanted to share this epic moment with you guys, man, because, yeah, I love taking you guys on the journey with me. Seriously, I love it. So we have this Thor card, boys. And honestly, I think I'm going to keep it forever just because I paid crystals for it. And I'm going to try and re-roll it. And if I ever get it good enough, I'm probably going to put it in my set. And I might try to do something stupid like go full Loki Thor comic card set. How cool would it be if you could have multiple comic card sets equipped and you could just change them around kind of like what you do with ISO sets? I'm not trying to give that mumble ideas of ways to get more crystals out of people. But, you know, maybe you could have like a themed set. Like, I think that would be way freaking cool. Anyways, I digress. Let's actually upgrade this card to six stars so we can actually complete the set. I want to share this epic moment with you guys. I'm so excited. Like, literally, I've spent so much gold. Like, every single day, boys. I kid you not. Every single day, I deploy... Oh, all of my characters. You know how much gold this costs. They reduced it in the latest update, which is amazing. But farming tokens are very, 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 very costly. So now that that chapter of my life is almost over, I'm very happy because now I can start saving some more gold. I'm still looking for that Captain America card because it's a very good card. And I want to also complete that set, but it's no longer like going to suck the life out of me literally because that's a lot of gold i'm sacrificing every day anyways man let's actually upgrade this thing and hopefully you know what rng is not gonna bless me the stats are not gonna be what i want yep look at that <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> quality four poison resist dodge lightning resist and fire resist bro the worst possible stats you could get on this card we just got it that just shows you guys when i say my luck in this game is pretty bad it's pretty freaking bad and i'm not over exaggerating it like this is a very good card to get so unlucky to get those stats is terrible look at that you can get physical attack all defense or cooldown i got the worst even crowd control bro would have been better than poison resist this that right here i want the attack proc i know most of you guys don't like that but look at that man there's four options in here that's better than the dodge, right? We can get crit rate, we can get attack speed, we can, well, not, nah, movement speed is trash. Okay, fine, fine. So three, right? And then right here, only really want the crit damage. Everything else is kind of garbage. And the last one, max HP is decent, but I want the all attack. So this card is actually a really good card, man. And I'm happy that I can actually complete my collection, baby. Are we going to jump 65%? There we go. <laughs> Avengers Origin. I never thought I'd see the day when I completed this set because I never thought I'd see the day when I got the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver card. And it happened, bro. Woo. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Let me go take a look at my... Yo, seriously. I know this is not the main point of the video, but I'm hyped, boys. Like, let me see what's going on. Which 50%. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. I could cry. Okay, Cap, I know you're probably going to be at like 49, 49 49.96. It doesn't get any closer than that. Now, I know because I had that additional 3%, some of my characters who were already at 50 percent like my cable they're gonna be over by quite a bit so i'm definitely gonna to have to re-optimize some of my characters and that's the big negative of when you mess around with your comic cards right but i'd rather have too much than not enough right because when you don't have enough 
then your skills are completely out of alignment. At least when you have too much, you can make minor changes, may cost you some gold, and then you can get everything back in alignment. So I'm very, very happy in that regard. Also, before we jump in with Cable, sorry, not Cable, Gambit and Emma Frost, we got more, man. I got more to share with you guys. So we got six, boys, six booty boxes. Okay, we got one at Legendary right there. We got another one right here that is at Heroic. Another one that's at Heroic. And then if you take a look down here, man, got another one, a Mythic, baby. <laughs> so many of them. And you know what that means? Look at that. We got so many opportunities for RNG to shit on us, but maybe we can get something good. Some CCF, some Dimension Dust, a CTP of energy, or that sweet cable card would make my day. Anyways, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I really gotta clear up my, woo -hoo -hoo! That's how I wanna start it off, baby. 43 CCF, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, big money. Big money, big money, big money, big money. I know a lot of you guys think I'm dead old because I used to watch that game show, but it used to be so fun. And they got stuck in my head. Yo, that sucks, bro. We started off so good. Come on. Come on. You know what? 100 Chaos Norms. That's not bad, but yeah, come on. <laughs> Don't make me cry like this, man. 43 CCF is good though. That's like one of the highest CCF drops I've ever seen from one of these boxes or from uh, Black Antimatter. Man, you know what? At least we got some CCF, bro. <sighs> Woo! Nice! And his physical defense, so I'm gonna have to reroll it. I'm so sad. I was hoping it was gonna be all defense, but this is actually. Almost as close. No, no, no. I think it goes up to 284. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to reroll this to just in case you guys didn't know. When you get fully awakened ISOs like these, if it's physical defense or energy defense, you definitely don't want to keep that. You want to reroll it so you get all defense, right? Because that way you're going to get both stats instead of just one. And that will actually push your character's rank higher if you care about pushing rank. Okay? Anyways, so let's take a look at Gambit. Nothing's changed. We still haven't given him any Urus. Like I said, I want to test out how he performs with just 20 gears, level 70, nothing else. I've definitely been working on his um, ISO a little bit just because inventory management. Y'all know my inventory is packed to the brim, guys. Like, seriously, man. Lately, I've been just so salty that I don't have more inventory space. So you can see for yourself. I'm so happy that he's finally at max skill cooldown. And Emma... Honestly, my biggest concern with Emma Frost when it comes to GBR is because her skills make her move around her 5 and her 4. Whenever the fight starts out, I feel like she's going to be really risky when it comes to dodging that little beam that Master Mole does at the beginning of the fight, which puts you in a feared state. I feel like that's going to be my biggest concern. But anyways, man, let's jump in and have a little bit of fun. I might cut out some of the loading time because I know I'm probably going to get kicked a lot using gambit and emma frost because they're not usually the characters you see in here right so most people might just kick me out but let's go all right boys so as to be expected i got kicked quite a lot because no one believes in gambit right but we finally managed to load in shout out to my guy retro i don't know him personally but he recognized me so i'm assuming he's one of the bros and that's probably the reason why he gave us a chance to prove herself right so what i'm going to be doing here is basically five and just run around because i'm going to stay away from master mole we have a deadpool in here and he's using his scarlet witch we're going to try to push for the number one spot but uh yeah given the fact that my gambit isn't completed yet I would be surprised if I'm able to out DPS a very well built Scarlet Witch, but we'll see. My main priority is definitely survivability and just to see how much damage we can do by only using the fifth skill mainly, right? I don't want to be super greedy here and get myself killed because then I'm going to become a liability to my team, which I feel like that's probably why I was getting kicked so much because you're probably thinking logically, if this guy comes in with 
his gambit and he gets killed, then that's game over, right? He's no use to us after that, right? So I can definitely see why I was getting kicked, especially since I'm not using debuff, right? And that's part of the reason why I'm staying really far away from the boss. But I feel like even if I'm far away, he can probably still debuff me. But at the very least, if he debuffs me, I'm not close to anyone, so I won't be able to kill them, right? Because I feel like since Gambit is so strong, he could potentially just wipe the whole team and I don't want to do that, right? The only time I'll wipe my team is if I see somebody that gets mind controlled and then they don't stop attacking. Then I'm like, yep, you're a liability and chances are you're going to kill me. So if I ever get mind control, I'd rather wipe you and just carry the team my damn self. I didn't know there was a Shirag in here. I wasn't paying attention to the other guy. And it's a tier 3 Shirag too. Okay. Yeah, tier 3 Deadpool, tier 3 Shirag. And Retro still ahead. God, yo, shout out to Retro, guys. Shout out to Retro. If you see this, my guy, I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to test my gambit. If you guys ever see me when you're running public, because I only ever run public, right? Because my alliance is really not that active. Like, there's only a few people that play. Right? But they're my bros, though. I started playing this game with them. So, I'm that kind of person where, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm in it with you, I'm in it with you to the end. Even if you guys still, like, only play the game casually. I'm not going to, like, kick you out of the alliance and, like, abandon ship and that. I'm, I guess it's kind of dumb to say I'm, I'd rather go down with the ship. But that's just me, you know? Like... The alliance that I'm with right now, I've been with them since I started the game. Like, they showed me the ropes. They helped me become who I am right now, right? So, I can't turn my back on my people, you know? Even though most of them only log in, like, every so often. Anyways, I'm going to stay away. I don't want to get clapped. But, yeah, if you ever see me in public and you try to speak to me and I don't respond, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just that uh, I'm trying not to die and be a liability, right? Because I'm sure that when you guys see me, you expect somebody who's competent and I don't want to be like they're sending you a message and then I get killed and you're like, oh, great. I'm playing with this guy and now he's dead and he's useless to me. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if you ever send me a message when we're playing publicly, I'll genuinely try to respond if I have a moment. If I'm using a character that's very, very safe and I can risk dying, I'll respond. But if it's someone like Gambit or somebody who's going to die really easily. And I feel like I'm going to become a liability. Chances are I won't respond until at the very end of the fight or while we're loading in. Right. But yeah, if you ever see me, man, feel free to say what's up. I'm going to go in here just so I don't die. I really want to see if we can beat out my guy Retro, though. Wait, Retro? Retro? Why does that name seem familiar? If your YouTube name is Retro, bro, I think I know who you are still. <laughs> Nicely done, fellas. Nicely done. All right, so we got 38% of the damage. We're just behind Retro. Not too bad, not too bad. We beat out that tier 3 Shirag, but I feel like she's probably not built that well. Hopefully, I don't disconnect. We're going to try and see if we can play with Retro again. All right, boys. So unfortunately, it seems like Retro wasn't up for another run. Maybe he was out of energy or something like that. I was waiting to see if he would click the retry button, but he didn't. So we're running with three random people. We got a cable and he has a tier three Sharon Rogers in here. So this should be interesting. Should be a good test for my Emma Frost. Like I said, the main focus for me will be at the start of the fight to try to evade those beams of attacks, beams of attacks, <laughs> those beams of light that master mole fires out that puts you in a feared or frozen type state because emma frost teleports around when she triggers her five or her four like you can see right there and i feel like it could move you from one spot where you're very safe to another spot where you're just frozen and dead so the first part of the fight i'm gonna be very careful and after that we'll turn it up with her i really want to see just how much damage we can get out of her also, I have to be really careful I don't get mind control. Like right now, I'm just going to be careful here because, yeah, not trying to get. Okay, we're good. We're just in range. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, now I got to be careful. I'm only really. Woo, there we go. I'm going to try to stay in the center. Oh, my goodness. Now, nah, I'm going to move. 
that could have been really bad if he had done that to me uh this guy's gonna pass me anyways it doesn't matter i'd rather not kill my team you know just to stroke my own ego looks like he's gonna oh nice he tagged out just in time i was gonna say looks like he was gonna die there Yo, am I putting in work, guys? Funny thing is, so many people kicked me out when they saw me using Emma Frost. It's crazy. I think the only reason these guys gave me a chance was because this guy was running a cable and uh tier 3 Shirag. And they were like, okay, Shirag is going to carry us. That's what they thought. Right? Let's see if Emma... My proc is late, though. Let's see if Emma can turn it up and show these boys what time it is. Show them what the headmistress is capable of. Even though you're definitely not as powerful as you should be. Really? Okay, I was about to say that tier 3 Shirag wasn't doing that much damage, but it's definitely built right. Or at the very least, I think it's built right. I don't think his is built better than mine though, because if that's... The Actually, no. I think it's because he's using Cable in the lead, so it's not an offensive setup for the leadership. So I think that's why, wow, that guy's Cable's dead. I didn't even realize at first that we had two Cables. I was seeing the Star-Lord <laughs> and not paying attention. All right, so it's between me and this guy. Lakes, is it? Let's see. Let's see who carries home. Let's see if Emma can out-DPS this Shirag. I wish there was a way you could just click on their portrait and oh my goodness. Okay, he's going to pass me here cuz I'm going to try not to kill him. This is bad. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. I made sure to shoot in a direction where he wasn't at. That was that was really bad. Don't do that, guys. If you see you're under the boss's control, don't do that. I only did that because he was doing it to me with his Shirag. In case you guys didn't book it, he was over there attacking and I was just making sure to stay out of the range of it. So I figured I'll do the same thing and just stay out of his range. But yeah, don't do that. When you're under mind control, just leave the fight, please. Right? I know sometimes you think, yeah, man, my character is super strong. Even if I kill you by accident, you know, I can just carry us. Believe me when I say, guys, sometimes even if your character is really powerful, some dumb shit will happen and you'll get everybody killed. Right? So... Do as I say, and oftentimes, not as I do, right? Because some dumb shit will happen after you get everybody killed, and then you'll just fail. And that's five minutes or ten minutes of your time that you'll never get back. And believe me, time is the most valuable of resources. Nothing, nothing has more value than time. Time wasted is something you'll never get back, ever. Oh wait, he's, oh, his Shirag died. I think he's down to just Groot now. Yeah. All right, we can carry this to the end, that's fine. Oh crap. Did his Groot die? I think his Groot died, so it's fine. We can just finish this up by ourselves. I'm just gonna dodge these, I don't wanna die. But I think since I'm in the diamond form, I can probably tank this whole thing. Yeah, we're good. We're Gucci. Really? I thought that was going to penetrate, but it didn't. Hmm. Got him. Got him. Yeah, so it's safe to say we definitely won that. Yep, because everybody died at the end there. But it's cool. It's so cool. 56% of the damage. Not bad, Emma. Not bad. I'm definitely liking the drop rates now. The gold is still kind of low. I still think you should be getting 100,000 gold every single time guaranteed because this is a pretty hard fight for 30,000, right? But it is what it is. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Giant Boss Raid now with the guaranteed drops for the type enhancers. But we're going to wrap it up right here, man. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love. And I'm gone.